Turtle top. Set. Man. Be comfortable. Be comfortable. Attack the arm. Go. Go, go, go. Be comfortable. If you get rolled, don't worry about it. You can still trap their arm. It's all good. Careful. Getting hooks in, attacking the neck, trapping the arm. It's a triple attack. You have lots of things to work with. First on the bottom, try to get two on one control. Work your way out. Come back, do it again. How do I force it? Level one, level two. What's the first thing I do when I get to here? Stabilize. After I've stabilized, what do I do? Get a hold of this one. Once you get a hold of this one, now let them grab it. Not working. The bait's not working. Level one, I come on the inside of his wrist. Now, if his elbow's heavy, I just lean into him a little bit, shifting the weight to his elbow over there. So if I can just lift this, lift. As I lift, my knee comes under and is directly trapped. Now we can come back to the neck. So on the first one, he grabbed it. Boom. And we switched it. On the second one, I'm going to grab here, open. Now when I open, what am I doing? Look, I use my knee on the side of his elbow, and it's like an Americana. I'm opening the elbow out. When it locks, now I lift up. As I lift up, I'm going to bump him just a little bit, shifting his weight to this elbow, making it possible for me to elevate. One, two. Easy. Now, Adrian might sense that does this feel funky to you? What are you going to do? He brings his elbow where? Inside. Now we attack the neck. When I attack his neck, how does he grab me? Change the grip. Back in. Sit, posture yourself up. Just put, no, no, no. Up. So when I do this, look at the angle. Because remember, when I went to grab it, what did you do? Tuck it, tuck it. Deep, 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 deep. Yeah, see, I can't get to it here. That's cool. So I start, attack his neck here. How is he going to grab? the exact same way I want him to grab. And it's the same thing. We just guide him trap. Now that the arm is trapped, we're back to square one. Get your arm out. Now we're back to that little number. Attacking the neck. Being sticky with the foot. Bracing the shoulder to prevent the arm from pulling out. Controlling the wrist. I don't like the wrist. What do I like to grab? Fingers and hand. Get your hand away here. Mm -hmm. Now we can attack the neck. Make sense? So we can bait it. Or we can force it. There's two levels, level one and level two on the force. Level one force, I just grab it and I force it. Lift and grab. Boom. Level two, he's too strong, the elbow's too deep, attack the neck. Boom. No, it's fine. Questions? All right, so let's work on the forced variation of the trap, level ones and level two. Um, keep your chest centered. Again, I see a lot of you are still not comfortable. You must be comfortable here. Knees on the ground for stability. Your leg is out here. Angle of the knee is here. Never up and down. Um, questions, questions. Go. What are they doing that's making your life hard? Nothing. What are they What is the opponent doing that's making it harder for you to trap their arm? Huh? The tighter they are here, look. Okay, so you guys want another tip? Yep. Or you want to just keep going? No, no. They do such a good job of tightening everything up that you might need to change the position. Right? So maybe I'm here and he's airtight. Everything is just completely locked. Here, let me get my hand in here. Everything's completely locked down, right? Sometimes what I might do is cuff the hip and pull into his hip. Boom. Now we can start opening things up and start getting hooks in as well this way, right? What else can we do? Tight, 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 tight. We can spiral right. We can spiral right. So as I come this way, boom, open them, hooks are in. But how did I do that? My hand is on his inner thigh, right? You can cup the body, you can cross face the, 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 the shoulder here, you can just hook. Uh, you can also come underneath this arm here and then elevate the elbow. 
But what I'm doing is, is I'm applying pressure, you feel it, mm -hmm. to the shoulder. So I'm leveraging, I'm, I'm basically bracing the shoulder and my hand is gonna straighten as I circle. It opens his hip. So that will allow for opportunity for, op for, for space. Boom, I'm here, boom, look, I just sat him on my lap. As we come through, hook goes in, second into the Once we're here, we attack the neck. When his hand starts to come in, we start trapping. Okay. Okay. So whether you use a spiral ride or you just pull him back to his hip, sometimes that happens, boom, now we start to open the leg, hook, slide, take it back. The idea is to get real good at trapping the arm. So you use your knee and your foot in combination as a second set of hands. Uh, you have the neck to control the up and the down. You have the knee to control the elbow, north and south. And uh, you must remain balanced. You must keep your chest on their back and not allow slippage. Be patient. If they roll you, roll with them. Same thing, still contract the arm. You can get them to hook drill maybe later this week when they roll you, you hook the leg, you come back up and you take their back. So again, Eventually, we're gonna, we can change position. I, I like to stay here because I think it's a good place to finish if you can trap the arm. And just come up and we did.